Guys, we got to talk about something super important today. Super, super, super important. And that is the most dominant video game athlete of all time. That's right. Now, a while back on the channel, I reacted to, well, I didn't react to, but I kind of made my own list of the most dominant Madden players, in my personal opinion. So you guys can go back on the channel and look that up. It's it's a few months back. It's It's been a minute since I did that video. But, but this is not just Madden. There are a couple Madden players in this, I think. Maybe just one. I think there's just one Madden player in this. But this is... Of all time, the the most dominant video game athlete. So from any video game, sports video game out there, doesn't matter what type of sports game it is. If it if it's a if it involves sports, it's the it, it could be a possibility. And this has ten athletes in a like in a chart that. We got to pick who our number one pick would be if we had to choose between in a fantasy draft between these guys. And I'll put it up on the screen either on my, my left side or on my right side. I don't know if which way I'll put it up on the screen so you guys can see it. But this is what we're going to be working with. And we got to choose our number one pick out of these 10 guys. I'll go through it with you. We have number one, we have Steph Curry from NBA 2K16. Now, if you guys remember 2K16, it was super cheesy with Steph Curry. You could spot up from anywhere on the court, and well, anywhere from half court, <laughs> from half court on, and you would be almost guaranteed to make that shot. Then we go on to Bo Jackson from Tecmo Bowl. And this character, this video game athlete, is arguably these he should be the number one pick because that game was i've i personally never played tech mobile but i've seen plenty of bo jackson highlights on tech mobile and that game is absolutely insane with bo jackson you're it's it's unstoppable you cannot tackle i don't think i've ever seen somebody tackle bo jackson in in tech mobile so he's number two on there. Then we got Mike Tyson from Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Well, I should say Mike Tyson because <laughs> he's got the, the list. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting on track. Mike Tyson's Punch Out. I have seen gameplay on this. I've never played it again. But Mike Tyson's Punch Out is he's he's apparently the boss, like the final person you fight in Mike in in the Punch Out because it's called Mike Tyson's Punch Out. So. And apparently he's like super unbeatable. I personally never played it, so I don't have any experience. It's hard for me to judge. I mean, I understand how hard it is to beat him, but I don't. I, that's hard for me to pick as the number one athlete because I mean, I, I've never personally played it, so I don't have any personal experience of, of deciding how hard it is. I can just go off of what other people have said. Now, if you guys are wondering, I have this in front of me, so that's how I'm, I'm knowing what these guys are. Um, the fourth guy on here is Ronaldinho from FIFA 06. Now, Ronaldinho was dominant in basically every FIFA that he was in in the early 2000s up until like he started to get a little bit older in the in the later FIFA games. But especially in specifically in FIFA 06, Ronaldinho was a dribble god. Like he could dribble around anybody. You could go circles around people and not get that ball stolen from your feet. It was crazy. He would score automatically. Ronaldinho's a beast. I'm pretty sure he's on the cover of that FIFA game as well. I can't remember, but he's Ronaldinho is a beast, especially in FIFA 6. Then we got Pablo Sanchez, an absolute legend. Backyard baseball, backyard football, backyard anything. Pablo Sanchez was the guy. I played this game. I played all the backyard games. And Pablo Sanchez was the go-to guy to get on your team. He's a beast. He's a baller. He's everything you want in an athlete in a video game and yes he's only like six years old maybe even younger i don't even know moving on to the bottom section we've got ken griffey jr from ken griffey jr presents major league baseball now i've personally never played this game but i have seen clips of it i have seen how dominant ken griffey jr is in this game and from the games that i've played uh M mvp baseball M and even the show ken griffey jr was pretty dominant in those games so I would assume that the game named after him, he would be pretty dominant in it. And then we get to the legend himself, the man, the myth, the legend, Matt 
from Wii Sports. If you guys know anything about Wii Sports, you know this face. You know this face right here. Matt is an absolute god at sports in the Wii games. He would be the dominant boxer. He would be the dominant basketball player. He would be the dominant baseball player. He'd be the dominant tennis player. Any player, bowling, any game that you would play on Wii Sports, Matt would be the dominant player on it. He's just a legend. He's a god. He may be the number one pick. Then we move on to Stretch from NBA Street. Now, I haven't played NBA Street in a long time. <laughs> and I cannot remember how dominant Stretch was. And even when I did play NBA Street, I didn't really pay attention to that because I was kind of younger when I was playing NBA Street. So maybe if I went back and played NBA Street now, I would understand how dominant Stretch was. But back then, I didn't, really, I didn't grasp fully uh, comprehend how dominant Stretch could be. Uh, he probably deserves to be on this in this group in this discussion but i don't think i would pick him just because i don't have the the memory i don't have the the experience of of knowing how dominant he is even though i have played the game and then we move on to ncaa football 06 reggie bush he's on the cover of that game he's the heisman trophy winner he's a dominant force in that game absolute cheat code unbelievably fast i think he might be the fastest in the game he's unbelievable reggie bush was a f fantastic talent in real life in college and in this game they just amplified that they they put that up to 11 on on the ncaa football 06 it was absolutely crazy uh and the final guy we have to choose from is michael vick from madden 2004 now if you guys are ogs of the channel you know how much I talk about Michael Vick from 2004 Madden and how much of a cheat code, how much of an absolute glitch this guy was in that game. Now, I, I always tell the story about me and my brother playing Madden 04. He would always pick the Falcons because he, he wanted Michael Vick and he's the, he was the big brother or he still is the big brother. So he, he got first pick of the team. So I never got to choose Michael Vick. And he, what he would do is he would start the he would get the kickoff and depending on where we were on the field he would he would march up the field to get to like the let's say like the four yard line or something and so he would be in the red zone at the goal line about ready to score a touchdown he would snap the ball with michael vick run completely back to his end zone not go in obviously and then do it and then the go back and score a touchdown dodging all of my tacklers and everything it was so frustrating and it just shows you how dominant michael vick was in that game and i'm pretty sure he was the fastest guy in that game and i'm pretty sure he's been the fastest guy in any madden game since maybe lamar jackson i'm not 100 percent sure on that don't fact check me on that don't at me i don't know if my if lamar jackson surpassed him or tied him but i'm pretty sure michael vick was and still is the fastest guy in any madden game so now going through all those guys now we've got to choose who the number one pick would be if we had to if we were in a fantasy draft and we had to choose one of these 10 guys now obviously we've already discussed i would take out mike tyson i would take out stretch and i would take out ken griffey jr so that eliminates three of the 10 guys now we have seven guys now i'm not saying that these guys aren't dominant video game athletes they are very deserving to be the number one pick in my in the fantasy draft but from my personal experience i haven't i, I don't have enough knowledge of those guys in the video games to remember them i'm going to let bo jackson continue because i i understand how dominant he was in tech mobile now between the seven guys i'm gonna take out steph curry because steph curry's dominant in in a lot of 2k games but there's a lot of guys dominant you could put lebron james in this spot you could put kevin durant james harden uh, Luka Doncic, Giannis Antetokounmpo, you could put any guys in that spot for 2K. They, they're they about the same dominance. I know Steph Curry's really good in 2K16, but there's a lot of guys that are really good in 2K games. So I'm going to take Steph Curry out. That leaves six guys. Um, I'm going to take Ronaldinho out, which makes it five guys. Ronaldinho's good, don't get me wrong. He's a fantastic, he's one of the best FIFA video game players you could ever asked for him and David Beckham and Messi and Ronaldo and all those guys they're all very good and Ronaldinho probably up there the, with the best of them but I, I'm gonna take him out because I don't think he competes with these guys in just my personal opinion so that leaves Bo Jackson, Pablo Sanchez, 
uh, Matt, Reggie Bush, and Michael Vick as our top five guys. And I'm going to take... I'm going to take Pablo Sanchez out. I don't want to be biased to the football games. I'm trying not to be biased to the football games, but it just so happens that the football games are the easiest to be the dominant in, in my, in my opinion. So, I mean, especially these old ones. So I'm going to take Pablo Sanchez out, which leaves the four guys, Bo Jackson and then the three on the bottom. I think I'm going to take Reggie Bush out. Reggie Bush was good in that game. I just can't. I don't know. He's not good. He's not better than these three guys. And anybody that's played Wii Sports knows how dominant Matt was in that in those in in that in that game. When you would come, you'd you get on such a roll, like say in boxing, you get in such a roll, you'd get on a win streak, you'd beat ten guys, fifteen guys, and then Matt would roll up, and it would be the hardest fight of your life. You'd be sweating. You'd have to get water breaks. It'd be like a real boxing fight. You just wouldn't get punched back. It just, oh man, Matt is tough to not pick as the number one pick, but I'm, uh, I think I'm going to take Matt out, so that, I, oh, that's tough, that's tough, I'm going to take Matt out, so that leaves Bo Jackson and Michael Vick, the two most dominant football video game players, athletes, of all time, Bo Jackson Michael Vick. Oh, who would I take with the number one pick in this fantasy draft if I had to choose between Bo Jackson and Michael Vick? And, we're, and mind you, we're not going off of like real life Bo Jackson or Michael Vick. Obviously, you take Bo Jackson over Michael Vick in real life. Um, this is just this specific game. You're putting Bo Jackson Tecmo Bowl up against Michael Vick Madden 04, and you're you're mashing those together. See which one you would pick. Who's more dominant in their game? And I think I'm leaning towards Michael Vick. I Bo Jackson is uber dominant in that game, but that game is so old and like it's hard to really compare it to a game that was made in the early 2000s compared to a game that was made in the 80s. That's where I'm kind of falling on here. Like, I know that I shouldn't have that as a, as a criteria, but, I mean, it's just so hard to not... It's so hard to ignore it. The fact that that game... If it wasn't Bo Jackson, it probably could have been anybody. Like, say it was made for Lawrence Taylor then Lawrence Taylor could have been the most dominant player in that in that game. I I don't know, I may be wrong on this, but I'm leaning towards Michael Vick because he was so dominant in real life that he earned the spot the speed rating that he got in Madden 04 and it, and it just abused it. It was glitchy and stuff. I know Bo Jackson obviously I know Bo Jackson was dominant in real life too. Oh, this is, this is tough. Who's your number one pick? Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I do not know. I think I gotta go Bo Jackson, right? I gotta go Bo Jackson. Because that game, he's just so, he's so dominant. But then again, you got Michael Vick. Oh, this is tricky. This is so... Oh, this is so hard to choose who should be the number one pick. I don't know. I don't honestly know who I want to take. I'm, I'm leaning towards Bo Jackson, and I feel like in my gut that that's the right pick. But Michael Vick is just so close. It's almost like it's almost like one A and and one B, or it's kind of like one A and one A minus, basically, is how it is. Uh, this is this is tricky. This is complicated. Bo Jackson Tech Mobile, Michael Vick Madden 04. Man, 
<laughs> Michael Vick was dumb. He was he was unreal in Madden 04. And I've never played Tech Mobile, so I don't personally know how dominant Bo Jackson was. I just know how dominant he was from seeing clips and gameplay of it. But I've played Madden 04. I know how dominant Michael Vick was. I know that he could barely be tackled. It's basically Michael Vick in Madden 04 is the Bo Jackson of Tech Mobile, just in the early, in the 2000s instead of the 80s. That's basically how it played. I, th I think I gotta go Michael Vick. I'm gonna go Michael Vick. Bo Jackson would be number two, obviously. Bo Jackson would be number two. But I'm gonna pick Michael Vick as my number one pick for the most dominant video game athlete of all time. I know you guys probably are screaming at me. You're probably hating me because I chose Michael Vick over Bo Jackson. And trust me, it was a hard decision. I understand. Before you guys go in the comments and say that you you all oh, your you don't know you don't understand how dominant I I do I do understand how dominant Bo Jackson was in that game. I trust me. I do know. I just. I gotta go with Michael Vick. I gotta go with Michael Vick in Madden 2004. Oh, that's a, that is a tough, tough question to ask. But you guys can let me know down in the comments below who you would pick in the, in your, as your number one pick in this video game f athlete fantasy draft. If you would pick Bo Jackson, if you would pick somebody different, maybe you'd pick uh, Pablo Sanchez. Maybe you'd pick Matt. Maybe you'd pick Stretch. I don't know. It's up to you. Uh, it's all up for debate. I love having these kind of debates. They're so fun, and it's 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 a great way to work the brain. It's a great way to work the brain and think about situations and think about different scenarios about who you would take if you had one choice in a fantasy draft of all these video game athletes. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you do hate me for, for picking Michael Vick, I understand. I kind of hate myself, but I'm going to go with it. I'm going to follow the gut instinct and pick Michael Vick as my number one pick in the fancy draft for video game athletes make sure to smash that like button notification bell and the subscription button down below as well subscribe to the channel join the juice club let me know who your number one pick is and i'll see you guys next time peace